What up, what up? We're here with the Baseball Bat Bros. And today, folks, we have a brand new bat to Louisville Slugger for 2023. We have the Atlas BB Core. Let's get it. All right, folks, so for the first time since I think probably like 2019 or so, uh, Louisville Slugger has an entirely new BB Core bat here. Uh, this is the Atlas, and I think this is meant to replace the Solo BB Core bat. So they're balanced, light swinging one piece. So we'll see if it is close to the Voodoo one, but decent price point, only $300 on this. And they're saying this is a completely redesigned barrel interior. This is supposed to have a lot more forgiving barrel than uh, the Solo and even the Omaha. We'll give it a try here. Definitely put it against the Voodoo one and see if the Atlas is gonna kind of jump into that top three or top five BB core conversation. Let's get it. All right, we'll uh, check out the barrel profile. I'll be comparing it to the goat baby, my favorite, the gold voodoo one right here. Okay, so a little more girth on the Atlas here, a little bigger barrel profile. I do think this is gonna swing a little bit heavier. That's the vibe I'm getting initially here. We'll set a baseline with the voodoo one, get the cracking on there, and then we'll move on to the Atlas and uh, see if this thing's for real, guys. They're, they're hyping it up a ton. And we're back on the crazy field, the grand piano field, as we call it. 4.05 to left, let's go. Things got dummy juice. One more. Design, one through 10. Design? Yeah. Three, six. Three, six out of 10. Okay, so Zach will be setting a baseline with the Cat X one piece. Zach's goat. That's an ice right there. Oh, dude. Incredible. I'm hitting low lingas. Yes. See ya. All right. Bye forever. Good start. Woo. This is an actual laser show. <laughs> I really caught real and everything. The world premiere of the shockingly bright orange Louisville Slugger Atlas. Oh, baby. Okay. Okay. Get off me. Oh. That's all smashed. Dude, it's really hot. It I'm sounds telling you, bro. It's really hot. It's really hot. Oh my god. Uh oh. That almost hit you in the chest. In someone's backyard. <laughs> that does sound really good. Dude, really it sounds really good. God, it feels really good. That hands got under it a bit too. Oh, but dude, that ball's really traveling. Oh my Jeez. goodness, that's right on the fence. That ball touched, dude. Absolutely crushed. That's a ground rule double, bro. That's literally 405 out there. Dude, the barrel actually feels forgiving. Really? It actually feels a bit more forgiving than the Voodoo. Probably more like the Cat X One Piece. But I like heavier? it. Yeah, it's a little heavier, definitely. Not quite as light. And that, I'm telling you, the barrel feels surprisingly big. Especially like, I was thinking about this bat as the Solo and feels quite a bit different, honestly. Oh my goodness, that was hammered. Oh my goodness, that was hammered. That's got a shot, legitimately. Yo, that's... That's a 400 foot shot and the wind is blowing in a little bit. This exit velo test is going to be big. Like, I can already tell you, this bat's electric, man. Oh my oh, god. dude. That was man, that's way out. Dude, I went into this with pretty dang low expectations. I thought that was just going to be a repaint of the Solo from last year. Way maybe... different. Dude, it's like what? what the one piece cat x is what yeah yeah a very redesigned bat and i think hey. like it's good good job louisville oh bro this thing is hot when i just hold it like this it feels heavy like a lot heavier than the voodoo but then when i swing it it doesn't swing through that heavy and the barrel is pretty forgiving i can actually catch it down here pretty well 
That's off the end of the bat. That felt awesome. I'm freaking out. I think this is really, really good. The barrel's really big. That's the thing I'm most surprised about. That's gone, dude. Stay so fair. Far, so far gone. Very controversial. Way out. Could have been fair, could have been foul. Dude, I feel like I could pop like, like a 105. Worst feel to do that, that's smack. No, but that will hammer is... It feels good, dude. Yeah. Okay, one more with the voodoo. I need to kind of collect my thoughts here. I'm having a hard time putting my finger down on that bat just because it's really, it's really different than the Louisville's of the last five years. It's not like the Solo, it's not like the Omaha. All those bats are really tough towards the hands and really hot off the end. Almost kind of like the Voodoo one, you know, like similar idea, but that's a forgiving barrel. Really kind of middle of the road swing weight. This is definitely lighter, bro, but this has less barrel to work with. And that is gonna be an exit view though showdown for the ages, Dude, bro. I think that could be hotter than the one. No, I'm serious, it could be. Like balls off the bat that were especially close to me, I was like, that is homey. I wish it looked better. I mean, way lighter. I just, dude, I just love this bat. Yeah. The Atlas is hot though. Yeah, it is. Like, hotter than I expected. The exit velo test is gonna be interesting. I know, I agree, it's gonna be sick. I, I really feel like you can't, honestly, you can't go wrong between the Voodoo One, Cat X One Piece, and the Atlas. Yeah. Like, you can't. It's just all feel based. Oh, oh, dude. Go. Fish that out. Oh, oh, damn. The barrel's big, man. Dude, and it's like both ways. Yeah. Like, I, I've caught I balls know. here, and it's, it's like... It's off the hands and off the end. With yeah. all the Louisville bats I've swung, it's always been all towards in. the end. Oh, good bye. That's it, dude. Good bye, That's baseball. It. <laughs> I'm it's done. It's really freaking good. It's it's really hot. I'm really rattled. Yeah, dude, that hands bad. Did not buzz me up. I feel like I smashed that ball still. Oh, <laughs> my bad. Yeah, it's almost more like the freaking Omaha than it is the solo, man. Yeah. It's nothing like the solo. That sound is amazing. Dude, I'm gonna light up the freaking hit tracks with that bat. All right, Cat X. Yeah, this is just so much more whippy. Way whippy. Oh my God, it feels like an ounce lighter than the Atlas. Yeah, way freaking lighter. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Okay, for me, I don't think it's cracking Cat X Voodoo One territory, but it's really, 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 really good. And if it's going to be popping off exit velos as high as those bats, that's going to put up a monster score, dude. Okay, Zach, before we go into hit tracks velo testing, what's your guess here, bro? We'll say Atlas versus Cat X One Piece. What would you think is a hotter bat? Atlas. You think the Atlas is hotter? I really think it's hotter. What's the benefit of the Cat X for you then? I would gain that bat. It's just way easier to control the barrel. I can control the barrel. I feel like the swing weight wise, it really plays with my swing. Yeah. But again, forgiveness is really good. I just, I love the taper on the Cat X. I mean, that's a bat that I really like to swing. All right, folks, big exit velo test here with the Louisville Slugger Atlas. We're on the hit tracks today and here at PDX Eastside Training. So uh, this is potentially gonna be one of our top one piece alloys of the year. And the weighting is pretty middle of the road. So today I brought our two highest rated one piece alloys uh, besides the Cat X. But as far as exit velo, this is our hottest light swinging exit velo bat. And this is our hottest kind of end loaded swinging exit velo bat. We have the Stinger Nuke 2 and the Voodoo 1. We'll set kind of a baseline range with these and we'll see if the Atlas is for real. with the new Hive 1035, but it was kind of low. Popped it up, 
that's gonna go though. Yeah. All right, folks, time for the Atlas. Good barrels need to be at about 99 to 100, and perfect, perfect needs to be kind of mid 102s or up to 103 here. So let's see what we got. 100.4. That was out towards the end of tiny bit even. Yeah, this bat's for real, bro. This bat's for real. I got beat. 99.2 still. All right, as far as swing weight and envelope go, at the very most, this is gonna be a five swing weight. This is middle of the road swing weight, if not slightly balanced. Could potentially be around a six. That was pretty good barrel for 101.4. Sweet spot, dude, we're looking at like a seven or like probably an eight. This is, dude, this is gonna put up a big score. This bat's very good. I wish it looked cooler. Yo, 103.8. This bat's electric, dude. Smashed. Holy smokes, dude. 398 on the line. That's hands. Does it hurt though? And on 380. Dude, this is like so not the solo. I'm very happy about that. You know what this feels like? I swear, dude, this feels like the Easton XL3. This feels like the banana bat. It has that giant barrel. It has the like shockingly controllable swing weight and it's juiced. Dude, it's, the average exit velo is no question hotter than the Voodoo One. All right, we, we're gonna hit with this bat a lot freaking more, but huge, huge thumbs up. All right, folks, the Atlas. Man, I am surprised. I have not swung a Louisville. I haven't even swung a one-piece BB core that has felt like this in a long time. I'm telling you, since like the 517 and XL3, it gives me vibes of those two bats. Like legendary BB cores, right? Doesn't look the part, man, but it swings pretty light. It has a super forgiving barrel for a one piece. I honestly, like, I took so many swings with this thing and it just kept surprising me with its sweet spot. Sounds awesome, feels amazing, and just smashes the ball. Looking at the bat bro scale, man, like, I'm not gonna give you like too conclusive of a definitive answer yet. I wanna compare this to a few other bats. I think I wanna compare this to like the Goods One Piece. I wanna do a more comprehensive showdown against the Voodoo One and the Cat X. Swing weight, I really think is gonna be a six. And then sweet spot and power. Like, dude, there is legitimately a case for an eight and a 10, that would shoot this thing to the number one overall bat, and I'm not ready to declare that yet. This is just new, and I, I still need to hit with it more and explore this bat a little further, but I think it's very, very reasonable to, to say a seven and a half for sweet spot and a nine and a half for power. Like, a noticeably more forgiving barrel and a bigger sweet spot on this than the Voodoo one for sure. And like even the Cat X, like a lot more forgiving and especially the performance down towards the hands. It's just hotter on those slight miss hits. It feels like it's still the meat of the barrel. The best way I could describe this thing is a slightly heavier swinging Voodoo one with a much more forgiving barrel. And hopefully the, the knob stays on a little bit better. So a massive, massive upgrade in the Louisville Slugger BB Core lineup, a huge upgrade from the Solo. If you swung the Solo or you swung the Voodoo One and you swing this thing, or even if you swung the Goods One Piece, I can almost guarantee you're gonna love this bat. And I know it might seem weird, guys. This is the new bat, you know, this is what all the salesmen wanna push. I have no reason to sell you this bat, guys. I really don't care, but I, I promise you, like, they redesigned the barrel on this thing and it freaking worked. So there you guys have it. Completely honest review, I promise you. So if it helped you out, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and head over to baseballbatbros.com to see our constantly updated BB Core rankings along with our merch. We'll see you guys next time. Peace out.